forward to this? Uh, yeah, I am. I'm really excited. I think everybody is to have our last home game of the year against the number one team in the country. Um, I think everybody's pumped for it. Uh, it's a big opportunity for us to be able to go out there and, and compete with these guys. So I think we're all excited. Does it help at all that you played against her and you played against this team a couple of times previously? I think it definitely helps um, to kind of get to know um, their game and what they like to do. Um, you know, watching film is one thing, but to actually go out there and play against them, that's another thing. So I think it, it helps us some to be able to know what they're good at, um, what they tend to do in certain situations, and um, it gives us a feel for what they're going to do. Did you feel like that first game was a winnable game for you? Had you made some more foul shots, mm -hmm. done different things? I definitely think the first game was a winnable game. Um, we made a lot of mistakes, uh, made some mistakes defensively on our defensive assignments. Uh, we missed, I think, 18 foul shots or something of that sort. Um, uh, I wasn't able to score. I think if some of those things would have came together, it would have been a closer game. I know everybody talks about her, but uh, she's got a lot of All-Americans mm -hmm. around her. To, even if you hold her mm -hmm. down, there's no guarantee you're going to win because everybody else is mm -hmm. so good. Right? Um, well, she has a lot of great players around her. They a lot, a lot of them feed off of her um, because she draws so much attention when they throw the ball to her. Um, they cut and the lanes are open because she draws a double and triple team sometimes. So I think we have to focus on where we're doubling from um, to not lose our man in the weak side. And we have to just lock down and not let them score as many points in the paint as they're used to. Is playing you know, the caliber of this team, number one, take your mind off a little bit about senior night and your last game? Um, not really. I think it kind of adds to it. Um, but it, it's all just, from in my mind, it, it's the perfect senior night for me to be able to go out and play the best team in the country on my last home court game uh, as a Mountaineer. Um, it, it's exciting for me. So I think it just adds to, to the whole environment of it. We're excited just for the everything, the senior night, and because we know we're going to have a good crowd and that we have a chance to, to beat the number one team in the country. So it's, it's really exciting. All of our families are in town, so we're just excited to come out and play hard. How much would you think back to that first game? Did you think that you guys, you know, had a couple things go this way or that way that maybe the game would, end, would have ended differently? Um, we actually played really well that game. Like we, our stats were uh, almost above theirs the entire game. We missed a lot of free throws that definitely hurt us. So we've worked on that a lot, and um, we're excited. We definitely feel like we have a chance that the, the score didn't really reflect how hard we played and how close we were to winning that game. You guys have been wanting to play in front of a great crowd here in this building. I'm sure you played in front of some good ones on the road. How much are you looking forward to, and, and how much can you guys feed off of? The amount of people that are expected to come watch you guys play Saturday. Um, big crowds are amazing to feed off of just because the energy and you know people are cheering for you and we have definitely had that on the road so it'll be a, a big change to have that here. We love the fans that do come and support us but it'll be exciting to have some different faces and hopefully they can continue to come back.